Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for Spectrum. My name is Jill Shine, and I'm one of the members of the software development team here at Avenir Health. Today, we're going to take a look at the Projection Manager. The Projection Manager is the area where you set up all the initial parameters for your projection. The Projection Manager serves two basic purposes. The first is for when you want to create a brand new projection. The second is for when you want to reload the default data, change the final years, or maybe change the country for an existing projection. Today we're going to concentrate on creating a brand new projection. When you open Spectrum, you'll see that there are a few different ways that you can create a new projection. You can click the New button here. You can also click the New Projection button here under Getting Started or you can click File and then New Projection. All of them result in opening the Projection Manager. The Projection Manager is the place where you're going to define all of the defaults for your projection. The first thing you're going to do is create a name for your file. In this case, we're just going to call it Test1 and Save. The next thing to do is to determine what you would like to have for your first and final year. The projection manager automatically defaults to the current year, but we can choose anything as far back as 1970 and anything as new as 2017. We'll stick with 2016 for this example. The final year can be anything up to 2121, but for this example, we're going to choose 2025. The next step is to choose which modules you would like to include in your projection. For this example, you see that we have Demproj selected, AIM, we have Goals and Resource Needs, but we're going to unselect these simply by clicking on the checkbox. You can see right here that I currently have Pakistan as my selected country, but I'm going to change that. I would click on Default Data. When we open up the default data window, there are lots of different options here. The first is I have to decide what type of area I want to have for my projection. Do I want a country? Do I want something that's subnational? Do I want a global region? Do I want to just use sample countries to see what is available and poke around? Or do I want to not choose any kind of country or region at all? Be aware that if you choose this option, no country or global region, no default data is going to be loaded. And if you try to calculate your projection without adding data, you will get an error message. Let's take a look at all of these options before we actually pick a country. First, let's look at subnational region. These are all the countries again listed. And let's say I choose a country like Bangladesh. Down here, I have the option of entering any subnational region that I might have. But if I happen to choose a country that already has subnational data as part of Spectrum, for example, Zimbabwe, we'll see that there's a drop down list of all the different regions that are available to choose from. Or if I really wanted to, I can still enter a custom region. The second area that we want to look at is the global regions. These are worldwide regions. These are not specific countries, but rather global areas. Sample country. With sample country, you're able to take a look at how a particular country's area might be set up in Spectrum. And again, you can also choose no country or global region, but just be aware that if you don't put in the data, you will receive an error. For right now, let's go back to country and choose a country that we would like to use for our projection. Let's choose Afghanistan. Over here, we see the two modules that we want to use for our projection, Damproj and AIM. In this column, we see that we are going to be downloading default data for both of these modules. And this column shows us what the default data sources are for the two modules. Once we're happy with our selections, we click OK. And now we see that the country we're going to be using is Afghanistan. Once we click OK, the projection will be created and will open in Spectrum. All of the default data is being downloaded now for Afghanistan. 
as Spectrum creates the projection. And we have it loaded. If we look here, we will now see that we have Demplage and AIM as part of our projection. If we've decided that we really want to change something, like for example, the final year, maybe we went out a little bit too far and we don't want that, we can go back into Projection Manager and we can change the final year. I really meant to choose 2023 instead. Let's say I'm unhappy with some of the changes I've made to my projection and I want to reload the default data. I can click Default Data and if you'll notice, these two checkboxes are no longer checked. Now I can recheck one of them. This means that the AIM data will be reloaded into my projection. But be aware that if I check this and I click OK, and then I click OK once again on the projection manager, then any values that I put into the editors will be overwritten with the default values. But I know that I want to do that, so let's move forward. I click OK and then I click OK. And at this point, it is reloading the default data for my projection so that when I go back into my editors, I'll see all the defaults once again and my changes will be gone. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about this video or require help in any other area, please do not hesitate to contact us at model support at avenirhealth.org.